This is my tea kettle. And this is my tea kettle made just a little bit better. Let me show you how I did it, and thanks for watching. I started off by removing all of the components that I'd be rebuilding, including the handle and the lid holder. I then transferred those dimensions to a piece of paper to have as a cutting reference later on, as well as record all sorts of detailed measurements I'd want to have for these pieces, which might have been overkill. Next, I started my build, and I'm using scrap walnut I have laying around, as well as a few strips of maple. Now, I didn't have maple that matched the width of the walnut, so I started off by laminating two strips together before moving on to the next step. The next day, I planed down my pieces to the thickness that matched the design that I had in my head. The walnut would be around a quarter of an inch, and the maple would be about half an inch. Then I trimmed off the excess pieces and saved those for later, as well as cut the walnut strip in half. And here's how the design is going to look, with the maple serving as a centerpiece to contrast the outside walnut strips. Then I glued everything up and let it dry overnight. And by the way, the glue I'm using is Type On 2. I took the previous drawing I had and then revised it and made an altered version that I thought might look cool. Then I cut out that design, transferred it to the blank, and then roughly cut that out on my bandsaw, which has a huge amount of blade drift that I always need to account for and is kind of annoying. Next I smoothed over as many surfaces as I could on my belt sander. I then clamped my piece inside a vise and used a router bit to give the underside of it a cool profile, followed by wet and dry hand sanding to remove as many burn marks and other imperfections as I could. Starting to look pretty cool now. Now I had no idea what I wanted to do with the lid, so I started out by cutting a small piece from the leftovers of my blank. I then drilled a hole and put a screw in it so that I could put it in my drill, and then I used my drill as a sort of makeshift lathe against my belt sander to round it out. It worked, but it was pretty clunky looking, so I went back and started just freehanding some cool geometric shapes until I was left with what I thought was a neat looking cap. I then took my original lid and attached it to one of the scrap pieces of walnut wood that I had cut off earlier, and then just crept up on the overall shape of the circle on the disc sander. That was followed by flattening on the belt sander to help lower the profile. Then after that I glued these two pieces together. Last up was to make a little slot for the handle to slip onto. So to do this, I drilled a bunch of small pilot holes and then incrementally increased the drill bit size until it created one large groove. It worked pretty well, but it took a while. Then I just applied a little bit of mineral oil to each of my pieces. Now I attached the top using just the screws that the original tea kettle came with. But I purposely made the new handle a very snug fit on my tea kettle so that I could avoid having to screw anything together. If for whatever reason it does loosen up later on, I'll probably just epoxy it. So yeah, kind of a silly project, but a lot of fun in the process. Thanks for watching.